To make the easy crochet hand warmer, you need um, a ball of yarn. Um, this one is about um, 360 yards, 329 meters, and this will make at least three hand warmers. Basically for this um, hand warmer, you just need about 100 meters, 100 and I don't know, 20 yards to make a pair. But if you buy a big ball, you could make about three hand warmers. You need a um, six millimeter hook, which is a USJ, a scissors, and a stitch marker, which I just use a um, safety pin. You can use a fancy stitch marker if you want. So I'm gonna show you in white because it's hard to see that dark color. And um, let's get going. So we start by chaining 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. And then we keep it flat and join it with a slip stitch in the first chain. Let's do that. This whole hand warmer is made with no seams, no visible seams, no sewing, nothing. And you chain one and you work. I try to take the little tail and hide it under and work um, over it as well. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Oops. I'm, just, I'm splitting the stitch. Nine, ten, and we get, when you get to the end, you should have twenty-two single crochets. So I have 22 single crochets and I don't um, join here, but I take my little um, safety pin and I pin it here because this is the starting. I just want to remember where I started. And from here on out, we're gonna work half double crochets in each single crochet, All right? As I said, there's no joining. From here on out, you're gonna work in the wrong with not joining anything. This is it here. I have sold this um, pattern and this um, finished product times and times over. I think over the season, I'm sure I sold about um, more than 20 pairs um, in my local community of London, Ontario. So it's a very popular um, hand warmer it's super easy to make and I think that's why I sold so many of the patterns and um, that's a good thing right so I'm gonna keep working in these half double crochet in each half double crochet when I get to the end here I'm gonna show you instead of working in the top stitch now I'm working in between the half double crochets so from here until um, rung seven, we're going to just work in between each half double crochet. So you can see in between each one. You don't have to pay attention to much count after this. It's just um, the beginning. I started with 23, end up with 22 because um, that will keep the half double crochet the size of a regular size woman hand. Okay, so let's do this to rung seven and then I'll meet you back here to show you how to make the um, thumb hole. We've worked our seven rungs and if you see where the marker is, that's where we stop. You can move the marker up as you go along. Remember this whole hand warmer is work in um, the rung with no joining at all. Um, you just keep continuous rung until you get to the last two rows that will be in single crochet and that's when you'll join both those rungs with slip, slip stitch but for now that's how it's this is how it's done so when you get here we chain six one two three four five six this is a thumb hole we count 
five, two, four, five, and we work our first half double crochet into in between, in between that one. So that's the thumb hole right there, right? You could see if I try it on, that's where it is, see? And we continue um, working seven more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we do a half double crochet um, decrease, which is half double crochet two together. So you pick up the first stitch, you go under, pick up the next stitch, and you bring it through all four. And the reason why you're doing the decrease is so that you can have some kind of shape. Two, we do it again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we do nine, nine half double crochet, and then in each chain, which is a six, we work a half double crochet. One, two, so it's each chain for the opening, we work a half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, All right? So then we continue in between and we work until we get to the half double crochet um, decrease. We work till we get there and we do another um, decrease over that decrease. Another half double crochet where you pick up the first stitch. So you go yarn over, pick up the first stitch, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop and go through all four. And then we continue like that until we have as my pattern say 19 rows um, I will come back and show you I think I will end at about 17 rows but I'll come back and show you but the pattern says 19 because it's a much longer hand warmer I tend to do them a bit shorter because my hands are short for myself but you can go longer you can actually go up to your um, elbow if you want to make a really long like what they call a gauntlet so it's up to you, but I'm gonna come back and show you how to finish up this hand warmer. Okay, I hope you saw everything I did just now and I don't have to record this video again. <laughs> See you back again to finish up. So in total, I've worked um, 17 rounds and that make it um, seven inches. You can go ahead and work 19 rounds, which will give you about eight or a little more than eight inches. But I, for the case of just showing you how to make it, I just ended there. I kind of eyeball where the marker is to where to stop, but you could be moving this um, pin up as you go along to make it easier for you. Um, when I get to, to the last round, I work a slip stitch in the top of the first half double crochet there and I chain one and I work two rungs of single crochet. So this is the first rung. This is to finish off the top of the hand warmer. Okay, two rungs of single crochet. So I'm gonna come back and show you the ending and try it on, fit it to my hands and show you. So at the end of each um, row of single crochet, you work a slip stitch in the first single crochet. And then on the second round, you do the same thing. You work a slip stitch. And then you just use your scissors and snip, snip. And that's the hand warmer there. And let's take off the pin. That was the beginning. And then you can try it on for fit. You can um, continue making this hand warmer as long as you want. You could make it up to your elbows almost, but because my hands are really short, I like them kind of short. Actually, I make my hand warmers about this length. I don't even go this high. My hands are so small. So um, that's your hand warmer. Now, let me just show you a few that I have made already. 
these are some black um, glitter ones right these are gray glitter I did a uh, more rows um, to start and end with more rows you can just customize them how you want to these are red ones red shimmer this is called these are some um, blue variegated ones really cute these are purple ones you can go crazy i sell them so i make a lot these are rainbow ones just wanted to show you little rainbow all the color of the rainbows are here and then these are cobalt blue again see these ones are make very long if you notice the one i just finished is not as long as this see it's the same pattern but this would be the length you would have done it if you did the 19 rounds so with all that i am done thanks for watching and i hope you have fun making some as christmas gifts i wish i could have gotten there a little earlier or um just making them for the winter because winter does not end at christmas thank you for watching again have a great day